Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Holly Bailey at the MTV BMAs looking hella pregnant. Let's talk in the comments and please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and get into it. Y'all, I did a video not too long ago talking about Holly and just I, me believing that she was pregnant and me believing that she is pregnant for other reasons than what y'all might think or believe. Let's maybe revisit that video and talk about that. But um, after seeing her at the VMAs this year, yeah, sis looks hella fucking pregnant. And she's so obvious with it. And that's why I'm starting to feel more and more vindicated that her being pregnant is not authentic. Like, she's not pregnant because she literally, like, oopsie, got pregnant. Or, yeah, I really want to have a baby with my boyfriend at 23. Like, because it's, it's like, you have to know when people are playing in your face. Now, let's talk about it, okay? This is why I think that this is all rituals and bullshit. I will forever say that. I think this is rituals and bullshit. Holly, if you are pregnant and trying to hide it, for real, why do you keep going out the house? You keep leaving the fucking house and you keep carrying yourself like a young girl that's pregnant. Like, you wearing particular things, you covering it up a ton. Like, Cardi B hid her pregnancy well for a good while. You know, there was definitely a lot of speculation, but it was it, it was like that. Um, it was like that until she revealed it on her own. And it was like that, honestly, when she just kind of couldn't hide it anymore. Because you, can, you can't hide a pregnancy. Like, unless you just don't show some people like don't show but if you show like come on somebody's gonna spot you ma like i've spotted people who are pregnant before i've been like hmm like somebody at work was trying to hide it one time and like she was wearing all black and wearing blazers and you know doing what she felt like was smart but one day i just got a little bit too close and i was like you know hmm this girl's pregnant and (laughs) I didn't say anything, but I just noticed. I was like, you, come on, you can't <laughs> fool everybody all the time. Like, goddamn, Holly, you're not fooling nobody. You running around wearing big dresses and big blazers and, like, clothes that look big on you. You doing that. And you you look pregnant in the face, ma. Like, and, like, Lyra Galore uh, called you out. Your titties is giving pregnant. Your titties and your face, you know, your face has spread. You look good and pregnant. And with Holly, though, it's in a sense like, again, you carrying yourself like it. You covering your stomach. Like, the the pictures at the VMAs with her, um, first of all, that big-ass dress, like, was like, come on, ma. Like, what we doing here? And then... She's sitting up there in a in a picture or a video with somebody. I got I got uh, to insert it where she covered her stomach like a big time with a fucking purse. Like Holly, this is such a goofy goober fucking bullshit ass like situation that you in. And it's not because you played by DDG. It's because you in with them people. I feel like again I'm a, I'm gonna keep running with this. I believe, in my opinion, Holly is pregnant. And I believe it's because them Carters propositioned her in DDG. And told them, you know, this, 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 and this could happen. But we need an offering. You know, we need an offering. Or, yeah, we know we could put you on with these people. But they need an offering. Because... I feel like DDG and Holly have already made offerings, but maybe some more are needed for the, to go to the next level. Because I just don't understand this girl being pregnant. I don't, be- I can't believe in my mind, I can't believe that this girl is that slow to willingly be pregnant right now. I just can't. 
And I might, you know, I might be right with following my last theory that maybe she was pregnant because she had to pay for the Little Mermaid. I don't know. At this point, I'm just like, I hope this is for something new. And I hope it's more so for you and not DDG. If you run around big and pregnant like this. Now, something else that I want to mention is... Because somebody else in the... Somebody in uh, my radio's comments mentioned this. Notice how Holly is at the VMAs. This is how this... And once again, now that I'm thinking about it, y'all wake up. This is a ritual. Because somebody peeped. Holly, you are at the VMAs with an orange dress on like Beyonce was a few years ago when she announced the pregnancy of Blue Ivy. That right there is a good argument because these people, what I've been saying it, they do nostalgia, they've been doing nostalgia rituals. Shout out to um, Celebrity Tarot. There's Celebrity Tarot uh, readings on IG and there's also like kingdom underscore tea time on IG. And those are like two really good decoders um, who know a lot about the occult side of this stuff. And yes, nostalgia rituals, like rituals that just bring you back into a point in time. And they have to do that because right now it's so fucked up. We don't have anything really popping right now with the new artists. So they got to pull rabbits out of fucking old ass hats. Big old rabbits out of dusty hats. It's fucking sad. So with... Holly, yeah, girl, like you up there in a big orange dress, looking big bellied and pregnant as fuck. And like, just like your mentor, that's what I'm saying. It feels like them Carters allegedly to other cartels talk to her, talk to that girl and probably DDG who, and who knows who the father of that child is like, let's really get into it. You know, child, let's talk about it. But and they did like they told her, you know, okay, now it's time to give something. Or they told her, you know, for, for that movie or for whatever, whatever we've done for you so far, you know, it's pay up time. Or they told her, okay, you know, if you want to keep it up, because again, she is still doing a lot of press and she's getting a lot of press off this pregnancy speculation. This, that's why I know it's rituals and whole shit. Because again, if you really was genuinely trying to have a baby with your boyfriend, you wouldn't feel the need to pounce all around town and look so obvious but you know what you're doing like the speculation of you being pregnant is raising your stats and raising uh raising your your, your publicity without you even having to do anything all you have to really do is show up and wear something um ambiguous or wear something that is questionable pose questionable get people to get questionable angles of you like this stuff is strategic because when kylie jenner was pregnant kylie was strategically not photographed like that was not by accident y'all know that so that that lets you know if they don't want to be seen they will not be seen and just like when cardi b when she was pregnant and trying to hide that shit certain pictures and certain angles of her like they didn't want to get out what 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 let it out is when they did get an unedited picture of her for one of her music videos and it was showing and everybody was like ah yeah because her team were like very very good with the photo editing and very very good with the angles to in the in the styling and everything to try to like hide that pregnancy so when it comes to Holly Bailey, it's like, girl, the industry, especially with your affiliations, the industry is too fucking quick and clever to really hide that shit if they want to. The fact that it's so much gossip around it and so much, you know, ooh, mystery and urban legend is done by design. That shit is by design. You being up there again at the VMAs, just like Beyonce was, the same fucking ritual award ceremony in the same old orange dress. We know orange is nothing but another shade of red. And we are going into the fall time. Pumpkin spice, ice spice with her orangey red hair. Like nothing but red at the award show. Y'all, the, the color symbolism is real. <coughs> you show up in orange. Again, just like Beyonce was. 
around the same time Beyonce birthday just passed like it's Virgo season it's a whole lot going on a, a fucking new moon is coming up like or a full moon some type of new moon a harvest moon something is coming up and it's just like and now you walk around motherfucker pregnant like girl bye like it's something real say satanic and sinister in my opinion going on behind the scenes with uh this situation with holly i don't think it's genuine and authentic at all i think it's very designed very strategic let's talk in the comments okay what y'all think y'all think i'm reaching if you have theories like let me know y'all don't have to agree all right y'all talk to y'all in the next one bye